Hello there, welcome back to Let's Play AI War Fleet Command. Nine Zul Knife Fight continues even more, and I think we're going to finish it up today. We'll find out soon. I've done a couple things here, and I'm going to send a scout in to demonstrate. We've only got a few minutes left till the next EXO attack, which is almost certainly going to kick us out of the Kisos again, if not, and defeat us entirely. Now, oh my. Well, this isn't. this wasn't here before. And there's a thousand ships here. <laughs> what, I was gonna, what I was going to do is send in a bunch of fleet ships and see how many of them it took to pacify this area just enough to get in a warhead and do some damage. But there was only riot controls here before, which are immune to area damage. Lovely. There, I did send in, like, I was sending in a scout and then I'd send in a warhead. Did that a couple times, and there was another guard post here. There isn't any more. Just going to send it through. And very possibly another one right behind it. And there we go. It blows up. No point in watching because they have no idea what it's doing. Okay, we've got 189 left. So that did significant damage. It's probably worth sending another Mark 1 in before I, you know, try to again get in for the area effect. So let's do that. Okay, here we go. I did send in one more warhead. Now, my goal is to send in enough ships to allow a lightning warhead to do more significant damage to the buildup and gradually work things down. Now, I have sent in one group here. I've got a warhead coming right behind it. Let's see what happens. And, you know, those electric shuttles doing some serious damage. So that's not nothing. And here's a bunch of stuff that looks like, yeah, this way is our first eager targets. I think it's in now. Yeah. I think if I could set it off anywhere near here, it would take out a bunch of these with it. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. Core melee guard post. Core missile guard post. And there's still quite a bit left over here. That was pretty nice. I think I want to continue using that strategy and just gradually bleed down all of the ships that they have in here. That would be that would be very nice. Got a Mark III here. So I'm going to send that through in a bit with some more ships and see what that does. And then I'm going to have to get ready for the Exo Wave. Well, here's the result of our work. And they've got a bunch of stuff here in carriers. So that would be a nice, nice target to hit if I could get over there. I don't think, not sure if I got time before the Exo Wave. And then, they are down to, outside of the carriers, they're down to just about a thousand ships here. So we are whittling it down, bit by bit. And another one. Ah, didn't quite get there. Almost got over to, to this bunch of ships. Not quite. And see, yeah, though they're trying to deploy everything that they've got. Okay, gonna give this another shot. I'd really like to knock out these carriers. If I can. Think I'm gonna... Yeah, okay, those carriers are gone. Didn't get rid of much else, but that's fine. Now, I've got all kinds of frigates in here yet. Okay, they're up to 1,700, but they've only got 200 and some remaining in carriers. So, and they've deployed a bunch more strategic reserve. There was another wave that fit in there. I still think we're making progress, but now it's time to shut it down until we deal with this exo wave. And when it hits, there is one massive AI ship en route to my planets. Obviously, I don't like the sound of that. Look, I knew this was coming. I don't think we're going to hold this system. What I did do, though, is put up more grav turrets. So it would take them, hopefully, a little bit longer to pound through them. Another couple layers. I mean, what else can I do but try to fortify to the max, weaken them enough so that when I retreat, I can actually get out and make this happen. And there's a nice big reprisal that's going to smash through us. I don't even care about it, really. And here we go. What do we have cloaked there? Warbird Starship, okay. 
Bunch of stuff getting blown up. Okay, there's all kinds of... Six regen golems. Oh my goodness. So anything we blow up, we're going to have to blow up multiple times. Let's get my starships forward just a bit. Ah, Hunter Killer. Extremely powerful AI starship specialized in destroying all traces of human civilization. I've heard of these, never saw them. 21,000 times 25. 21,000 attack. That's every three seconds. That thing is just absurd. Okay, so there's only 180-some things. There's not that many things attacking. They're just all badasses. Trying to watch those regen golems. They don't look like they're going down by much. There's some things they can't regenerate. Let's see, how's our starship group doing? We've lost about six. Okay, we've got a reprisal and a regular group. Yeah, a whole bunch of stuff coming to Haumea. Where is that hunter-killer anyway? Oh, it's right in the middle of us right now. It's got 8 million health. It's at 88%. Our golems are still fine. Lightning Warhead's going to blow up if I don't use it. I'll just send it off. Does this thing regenerate? Not as far as I can tell. Well, we might be able to kill it. Before we leave, it's down to 50 some percent. Or it might just leave without us. Everybody get to Ceres. Everybody abandon your post. Well, we're weakening it more on the way in. I think we're going to get it. It's down to a third. It's in the red now. Okay. Everybody come back here. We do still have some turrets up. Everybody kill it. Please kill it. I'm assuming that the... Uh, yeah, now we've got all the regen golems with nothing to regen in here. Cool, kill them. I mean, it's going to take a lot of firepower, but... I think we're going to hold this wave off. I also think it's the last one we're going to hold, hold off. Oh my goodness, it just went all the way through. Because, alright. What do I need to kill that stupid thing? I think we're going to be okay. What do we lose? Haumea? I don't care. Those reprisal waves coming through. Okay. 
So now, everybody, head back to the home world. Let's see what we're doing here. Here it comes. Beam cannons are up. What's our range? Okay, once it gets in that circle. Oh. The military part of the command station took it out by itself. Okay. Oh, no, it just pushed it away. It's like that's the relocating cannon pushing it away. Get over here. Come on. Curse Golem's almost dead. That's not good. That would really hurt my odds. Yeah, I don't care what you have to say. I think, though, that we are... We haven't. There we go. Okay, so we've lost a bunch of crap. They've got a bunch of ships all over the place, but we have saved ourselves just barely for the moment. We have 25 minutes left. We've got to take Ariel before that happens. That's where we're at. Okay, so this is Dagobah. We're back up on the other wing of things. But, well, let me take a look. These were able to rebuild themselves. Other ships came through. This whole wave came in here. And then we just sort of had to come back in here and clear things out, I think. But I don't think there's much other than our stuff. I think I can just go through and rebuild. The Ninezul ships tried to come through and got eventually smashed. And All right, a few minutes later, and we're running out of metal. We've rebuilt, for the most part, everywhere else. They are attacking over in Haumea, which is not ready for them, I don't think. Now, they're going to smash through that. The question is whether they smash through Despina, which is ready. But it's kind of a moot point now. All right, we've got just over five minutes till the attack hits. A do-or-die type of thing. Now, if it fails, I will come back and try to defend. I just don't think that I'm going to be able to. So, split up into several groups. Right here, we have our diversionary force. Didn't really build anymore. I just kind of took what was left over. Good thing to have some electric shuttles in there. They're, of course, going to go in first and distract everything. Then we've got a bunch of uh, scout starships and transports. And their job is just to confuse and again more diversion this is our heavy lifting force they're gonna go in last gonna be the black widow golem the cursed golem uh, one of each flagship the enclaves to form a screen and then of course other screening ships here the higher mark starships in here we've got our lower mark ships and they're the ones that have to go across the system and take out the orbital mass driver then over here we've got our cloaked starships and a bunch of warheads I focused building on defenses, which I had to do because they kept sending in waves. And it's almost finished. That's why we have almost no metals. Haumea is almost finished getting up, repaired from the last wave that we saw a few minutes ago. And then I focused after that on warheads because I want to be able to clear out the mass of ships in there. So this group is sacrificial. This group is sacrificial. This group is sacrificial. These are designed to be sacrificial. They're just going to go in and blow stuff up. But this is the group that I hope is going to be able to handle things. And if they can't, well, humanity, probably doomed. But we'll see how this goes. Okay, so let's get... Some scouts going. We've got some transports here. And we have one of our transports in here, the one that I want. Where is it? There we go. That's our, okay, that's our starship transport. And we need to hit this up here, and they're already fleeing away from it, which is great. So I think I want to move up about there and then over. You know what, you move... A little bit more this way. And here's our warhead. Can't hit the frigates or the riot control because they're both immune to area damage. But the biggest concentration of other stuff, maybe these over here. Let's see if we can get into that. 
Okay. Didn't lose that much. So yeah, a bunch of, bunch of junk over here. Let's send in another warhead. 2700 plus the 202 in here gives us the 2904. Why do I have two warheads in here? I didn't want two. I wanted one. Okay. So... Send one that way. Oh, the one hasn't actually exploded yet. Is that what's going on? Yeah. Didn't even explode yet. Now it did. Here's the other one. Look at that. Okay, they're down to 2,000. That, that was big. Those two... Did a great job. Great job. Yeah, and you need to... You now need to get over here. Because if we don't take out that orbital mass driver, this is all for nothing. And we don't have much left in here. Still want to send in one more warhead at least for now. we got to be careful. Nope, not what I want. Okay, and all yeah, all these over here we're not going to get. We need to try to get up this way. And hopefully we'll get close enough to do something in between everybody else scattering all around. Yeah, you definitely unload now. And fire like mad at that. Let's see what our warhead does. Okay. Was targeting something close by and we're starting to attack this now 82% looks like we're gonna make that happen okay this transport you go over there as another diversion we're down to 1800 ships and I want to see what happens in this area for a bit because I don't want to bring in more warheads necessarily with a bunch of ships that I can't take out warheads with around I want to see if these clear out, like if they cluster up over here more, fine, I'll send another warhead. If they don't do that, if just these are around, then I need to send in my heavy group after this blows up. Okay, these are headed... Yeah, they're worried about this up here. Yeah, it's gone. Okay, maybe I didn't even need that many. I could have split them up more, possibly. I'm just trying to basically split things up. Where are we at down here? The key says, everybody's chasing up there. Orbital mass driver is down. I think this is the time to come in. How long do we have? Four and it's only taken 30 seconds to do all this. They have no more strategic reserve to send. Yep, and they're all going to blow up all that stuff, but then they're going to come back. And the idea is... Okay, I want to hold this group here, and when they come back, you know, flash warheads into them. So, our cursed golem, everything else screens. Cursed golem, take that out first. I want you to take out the killers. Like, I want you to take out this, and I want you to take out that, and so on. And everything else... Shoot it! Why are you going that way? You know, my plasma siege is involved. I don't want to do that, I just want you to shoot it. It doesn't say it's immune to that. I don't understand why it's not just shooting it, and now you're just moving closer to get shot. You don't need to move there. Okay, now it's doing it. Weird, it just doesn't want to shoot it. Would you kill it already? Seriously, just kill it. And yeah, th these are all collecting over here, which is great. Okay, that's gone. Good. Now you come back over here. See if I can get you to kill this. Yeah, the nines little cluster is what I want dead. Hey, a reprisal warning. Let me tell you how much I don't care. There we go. Now all of our bombers are going to come. Okay, here's some more stuff. 
They they blew up their lovely thing over here. Okay. Bunch of shield bear. Let's send another warhead, shall we? The barracks has decided to join us, but then also you kill force field on top of it, but kill that. Oh, hybrid hive. Okay. So yeah, we're going to want to start gradually sending in our warheads again. Warhead. And what's the nearest? we got a few things coming up here. Not that much. Yeah, let's just take out the front of the young group and then anything else we can get with it. Okay. 1,300 ships. On the other hand, they're going to start coming back here soon. We're shrinking that force field. How's this group actually doing health-wise? Pretty good right now. The Black Widow isn't great. But I can't let them start hitting us in a huge amount of force. Just trying to decide if I want to send another one, and I think I do. You know what? You... Let's take out... Let's take out these Guardians. Definitely the Snipers. Yeah. Getting rid of those Guardians is going to be big. Yep, Sniper Guardian's going down. So are some of our ships, too. Larger the Sniper Guardians than also these guys. So, 80,000 health each. They're a decent target for a warhead. Oh, well, maybe we didn't need that. Yeah, I probably didn't. No more sniper guardians, though. We're, we're through on the guardians. They have, what, 1,100 ships. Okay, cursed golem. Finish off those guardians. Let's see. These are coming back, though. Okay. Time to really focus our warheads on those. And we got another Mark 1, and that's it. Then I'll start throwing Mark 2s at them. Got three of those. Ooh, this is almost dead. That's not good. But not really anything I can do about it. Come on. Die. Die. Thank you. Alright, now. Honestly, keep shooting at whatever. Just help out. All kinds of fun stuff over here. Okay, just go after them. Okay, I got blown up before I get that. Yeah, these riot control are kicking my ass. I was hoping this zenith would do a little more against them than it is. We're clearing them out, but... Okay, yep, these are coming in. I only have 700 and some ships left. This Mark IV... Yeah, my Zenith Mark IV and Mark V, I think, are helping. Okay, now there's a lot less of them. They've got some Merc bombers, a lot of missile frigates. There's a hybrid there. I think I want to send Warhead into that. Take out the radar jammer. Should have done that a long time ago. There we go. Take out these missile frigates. Yeah, there's that. That's the super hybrid, which is dead now. Only 246 ships left. Wow. Here comes the roaming enclave. Let's get rid of that. Oh, it's going to go retreat. Okay, let's go after this now. Yeah, level 2 reprisal. Don't care. Only a hundred and some ships left. Okay, we got about three minutes to do this because of that reprisal. The EXO is going to be give us less time than that.
Okay, there's another one down. Now we need to take out this spire. That is the only thing preventing me from attacking the command station. And we've got a, a Zenith 3. Oh, we had a Zenith 3. I think we're... Let's see what the next shot does. Yeah, we're lowering the shield. But it's not down that low. Exo attack in 50 seconds. Okay, so what, I think what I want to do now is get everybody out of the way. I definitely don't want to be in range of that stupid... Yeah. I got too close to the fortress. You guys come over here. Alright, fine. I, I need him to take out this, I guess. This is so close, because I don't know. There goes the Exo, and don't tell me they're coming after me. They normally just make a beeline for this. And some of them are, and some of them aren't. Okay, well, it's definitely Warhead time either way. How much is that? It's not that many ships, but a lot of firepower. Boy, I really need to get a Warhead into there if I can. Okay, that didn't work. Yeah, the problem is, I just don't think I'm going to survive this. They're going to take out my golems. Yeah, I think there's just too much firepower. Let's, let's try to run. Let's try to run over here. And then at the same time, let's get these warheads out of... Yeah. So that they can... Where's my warheads? Let's move them back here. Okay, yeah, the Exos are breaking off. But I think they... What, they kill it already? Yeah, the Cursed Golem isn't around anymore. They killed it. Crap. Yeah, I've just got to try to float out here at the edge of the system, I think. I didn't think they'd kill it that fast. So this is all obviously going to go bad places in a handbasket. And you drive into the middle of that. There we are. You do the same thing. Yep, okay. So they're going to wipe out all this stuff. I'm going to lose both of my golems. Okay. So this didn't quite work out. I've got to try to defend somehow. And if I'd come in here a little bit earlier, I might have succeeded. But I would have to take out the core spire shield, and then I can attack there. It, it's so close. Okay, so Lachesis is going to be abandoned soon. I want to focus on Ceres, my second backup point. And we don't have enough metal, otherwise I would work on, like, armored warheads. And to the extent I can... Throw up some spider turrets. Here. Yeah, those are all dead. Okay. Yeah. Hamea's under attack. They've hit there. They're probably coming into Pretoria. Not yet. So now I just got to watch and see what they do here. Okay, yep. Anything that they distract in here is good. Because... 
Looks like they might finally be taking out our ally enclaves, though. They're trying to escape now. Okay. Stuff trying to come into series. Yeah, they're going to obliterate this. I don't see any way to stop it. They're going to obliterate this. They're going to come through into Philomela. I have no metal. I have no turrets up in here. I can't do anything. This is pretty much over. Yeah, they've just... Some of them are diverting there, and here comes the final attack. Again, we have no metal. We can't... I might have been able to build a few turrets, nothing that's going to go in time. So you're watching the last moments of humanity as the AI hordes crush the, the once vibrant civilization. Not reading player A, abort, retry, fail. Oh, you're so funny. Okay, well, I think I would have won it without the bug or whatever it was that caused Ariel to trigger. So I'm going to put an asterisk on this game. But at the same time, I learned a lot. I learned about how some of the hacking mechanic works, how nuclear command works, and they're, you know, destroying, rampaging through, destroying more stuff. 16 massive ships are en route to your planet. I mean, they're just going crazy. It's amazing. Crazy. Um, you know, I learned basically how the small galaxies work. Had to occupy Core World. It came really, really close. If I'd have been able to get into Ariel a little bit sooner, if I hadn't botched the first attack on the Core Warhead Interceptor, etc. I mean, it was really virtually a coin flip at the end. If I had taken out that Core Spire Shield guard post, if I'd had a little more time and done that, I might have been able to use that Cursed Golem from long range to knock out their command station before they came. So, I mean, all of this was is about as close as you can get. But we lost. And uh, so next up is going to be the Light of the Spire game. Hope you've all enjoyed this. This was a heck of an intense game as far as I was concerned. Moving on to really a very cool expansion by all accounts with Light of the Spire alternate campaign. Uh, the winning conditions totally different. So I'm looking forward to getting into all that. Seeing what the quote story of AI War such as it is is all about. And until then, thanks for watching. Be back soon with more.